we are live that took a little while to connect um hello everybody hello my name is kate carney i am the founder of sip and share let me see down here there you go have a look at that have a look at that and you'll see who i am um happy thursday evening this evening we are doing a little taste i was gonna say test not a taste test a taster of a lancashire gin uh by the ribble valley gin company oh where is it there it is, there it is. is it too bright it's too bright it's too bright it's, there we go called little lane gin with i'm gonna say one of the most intricate beautiful labels i have seen in a long time quite well small batch gin distilled and crafted in lancashire um an incredibly see if i can just move that selfie light without hi everybody can you see the the um artwork here so it is like a piece it's like something out of beatrix potter which i think one of the members said the other day they were like it's like beatrix potter i was like you're so clever yes it is um with a small like a shrew or is it there like a shrew or a field mouse or are they the same thing i don't know um so i'm going to read you a little bit about them where's my leaflet gone i was just reading oh my life i've dropped it Oh, well, I'll read the bottle. I've just read the perfect serve and gone to get some stuff. Oh, that's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, anyway, I can memorize it because I've just read it. Um, so this is Ribble Valley Gin Company. Um, our signature little lane has a unique layering of rich and delicate botanicals, creating an elegant, dusty, floral-based gin that gives a deep earthy finish. Now look at that for an interesting description. Let me just check, I've not just put it down. I better take it out of Um Combining, and listen to this for botanicals, because I think this is a really interesting mix of botanicals and I can't think of another gin that has this botanical blend. Combining blackberries, wish I had some in but I don't, pine, nettles, meadow sweet, and lime leaf with locally sourced spring water. This is a gin that is a true botanic reflection of the British countryside. Now, and the reason why I am looking around for the leaflet, I'm putting my pocket, um, is because the perfect serve for this is, uh, you, you've got two choices. <laughs> the perfect serve is listed as, um, I mean, they don't say a large, they don't say a large gin. They don't, they just say gin, but a large gin, I reckon, loads of ice, Large gin, loads of ice, um, black breeze and tonic. Okay, so large gin, loads of ice, black breeze and tonic. Haven't got any black breeze in. This is the other option. This is in this little beautiful leaflet, which I'm so annoyed I can't show you because I must have just taken it into the kitchen and ran back through. Um, the other option, if you like a sweeter drink, is uh, with elderflower. So they with elderflower tonics. So same drink with elderflower tonics. It's got. Um, it's got the meadow sweet in it, so it'll be like slightly sweeter um, elderflower. Ha please have a look at their website. Their URL is ribblevalleygin.co.uk. They've got some other beautiful sounding uh, gins and products. And they give you all the history. It's like you're walking through a beautiful piece of art, Summer Garden. It's really aligned to this bottle design. Um, and you get a really good sense from their website of their value set and the sorts of like the sorts of people they are is what I would say. You get a really nice feel about it. Everything about it feels very wholesome, very beautiful. Oh, I've lost that thing. Never mind. Never mind. Um, so please go and have a look at their website, which is ribblevalleygin.co.uk. Yeah, it's got a garden centre. So I'm not surprised, Louise, you saw it at a local garden centre. It's got a garden centre vibe. Um, made in Lancashire by the Ribble Valley Company. So this is the first one um, that we have, their little lane, which is their kind of original gin, which is, ah, oh, and their distillery house, their distillery is based on Little Lane, so that's handy. Um, and it's based in an outhouse that used to be an old building. I think they're on, I'm not sure whether it's a kind of converted farm, but please have a look at their website because it's got, it's got lots of other beautiful stuff tells you all about the botanicals tells you about the nettle the meadow sweet the blackberries how they use the juniper the coriander um, the oak wood i think it is which gives it slightly slightly a vanilla feel a vanilla uh, smell i can't get my words up vanilla taste what's wrong with me the losing of that leaflet has both annoyed me and thrown me off completely so i bet i'm selling it no i'm not right 
Okay, so this is the bottle. Let's have a little taste of it. Oh, it's here! <laughs> sorry, I have to show you. I'm sorry, it was under my phone. So this is their this is their leaflet. I am going to show you. Oh, I'm so pleased I've got it. Um, this is their beautiful leaflet that came inside the um, inside the the bottle. It tells you about their other gins. So they've got Little Lane Gin, which is the perfect serve. Wheel of Lime and a couple of blackberries with tonic or sweeter, finished with elderflower tonic. I don't have any elderflower tonic with me, but I have got a bit of elderflower cordial, so I'm gonna try it with a tiny dash of that. They have their country market gin, which is, um, oh, I remember reading about this. It's kind of a it's slightly savory. Fill your glass with ice, sliced cherry tomatoes. What? Sliced cherry tomatoes, a leaf of basil, 50 ml of country market gin, which is one of the other ones in their range, and finish with your choice of tonic. And look how beautiful that kind of bit of artwork is there. Let me see that. See what I mean about the whole country market vibe. So little lane gin, country market gin, garden party gin. I love I love this whole leaflet. Garden party gin um, is the perfect serve. Fill your favourite glass with gin and then you're up with the ice. Uh, two strawberries chopped in half a sprig of thyme. Love a fruit and a herb thing there. Um, 50 ml of garden party gin and finish with your choice of tonic. And then the last one that they have in their range is the perfect serve, which the perfect serve, which is a winter's night gin, the winter night gin perfect serve, which is a slice of orange and choice of tonic, and it's kind of like a mulled gin vibe. So you can have a little look at their leaflet, nice and brand consistent with their website, which is what we love. Right, panic over about the leaflet. Let's try it. <laughs> so I haven't tried a gin like this for ages. I've, I've had lots of kind of warm and spicy and I know Sally hi everyone um cherry tomatoes and a gin who knew who knew oh so it smells delicate it smells slightly citrusy which I think is the lime leaf it's right I know you're gonna laugh at this but it smells pretty like just <sighs> Like, I need to be wearing a long floaty dress, walking through the meadows. I probably need to be about a stone and a half lighter and my hair needs to be a lot longer and I'm skipping. Yes, spring is coming. I'm skipping through the meadows. We're moving from spring into summer and I've got a gin. And I'm also very beautiful in this example. And like I have a small dog that just bounds and children with long blonde hair. You see where I'm going with this? This gin makes me feel like this, not in an insecure way, in a I want my life like that sort of way. Oh, okay, right, very good smell. Cheers. Oh, you've got a little bit more. So is that the lime leaf? So that earthy thing, I was expecting this, um, I guess just in the botanicals, to feel quite light, but this deep earthy finish really makes sense. It's not light and zesty, so it's like, you 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 run through the meadows and then you're sitting down with your best mate you're having a good chat and a gin and tonic you're not all light and airy out there you you're getting you're getting down to it vintage laura ashley ashley yes i see where you're going with that um oh it's beautiful very very smooth like wraps your mouth really nice mouthfeel feels kind of thick and whole it doesn't feel light and skinny what's the percentage <laughs> Did I tell you? Let me see. 40%. So I get from this a little bit of blackberry, and then I get quite the not not citrusy lime, like vibrant lime, but kind of almost like lime peel. And then it feels um, okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say musky in like an earthy, like a rooted sort of way. Not light and fluffy. It's not light and fluffy. It's like a whole mouth feel. It's very, it's kind of rich actually. Um, I was expecting it to be lightened up there and stuff. And actually, it's much more like not. It's not rough. What's the word? It's incredibly smooth. It's a very nice, neat drink. It's quite a complex um, a Cadbury advert. And I remember the Cadbury's advert. I remember the Cadbury's advert. Unless you're talking about, well, I remember the one with the the hare, the rabbit beautiful woman well in my mind you know the visualization i have of me running through the running through the um field it's a beautiful gin it's quite complex it's a beautiful it is a really really smooth 
smooth finish, but it's got something about it. You know, it's like, like that. I think that, that's where this earthy thing comes from. There's no, for me, there's no one clear flavor. There's no, there's like, it's not, it's not blackberry and it's not lime. It's quite complicated. And I wonder if that's, it said on the website something about oak and the vanilla. And I think that's where a little sweetness comes from. But you've definitely got this earthy thing going on. It's a gin lover's gin. Um, it's a, it's a kind of a complicated, how can I best describe it? It's very tasty. Gin lover's gin. It's like a clever gin. It's a gin to impress your friends, a bit of a gin. Like it looks beautiful and I think you expect, oh, light and garden. No, it's a proper gin, complicated flavors, very nice mouthfeel, very easy to drink. Well, she's gonna demonstrate right now. And then the lime leaf, and on the website it says something about locally grown. There's, all of this is local to, to um, or as best they can, I think, to where they are in Lancashire. And you just get that little, like a tiny little citrus hit at the end. Yeah, I like it. So I'm going to make it. I, I'm, I'm tempted to put, just to try, I'm going to put um, a tiny bit of ice. Let's put a dash, the smallest dash of cordial and more gin, obviously. Elderflower cordial, and then I'm going to try it just with tonic. Let's try a slight dash of elderflower cordial, which I can see, obviously, why you would want this if you want a sweeter drink. Da -da -da -da. Do not knock it over. Now borrow a size glass. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. That feels like your summer, your long serve your long serve sort of drink. Um, okay, so it's just, as you would expect, what elderflower does, just gives it a slight sweetness, doesn't it? Just elevates the sweeter aspects a bit more. Um, just gonna free pour, but I'm only free pouring a little one, don't worry. Um, I haven't got any blackberries. Let's just have it as a gin and tonic. Cheers, happy Thursday. Beautiful, crystal clear. So I prefer it like that. I just prefer it straight. I can really see how a bit of lime, I've got some lime in there, a bit of lime and some blackberries would go beautifully in that. Um, I do have a sweet tooth, but I think it just shines really nicely on its own. It's a, it's a, it's a kind of proud gin. It's not murky. It's really beautiful. Um, so I like it just like this. If you like a floral, try mixing it with water to bring the botanicals forward, no ice. Um, the only thing I have now in order to do that is a cup that the children use that's got the reminiscence of Ribena in it. So I can't do that. <laughs> but next time, yes, I will. <laughs> um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful gin tonic. Gin lovers gin. If you like a floral, um, it's not got a spice to it. It's got just, it's just an earthiness to it. If you like a floral gin, like a little bit of citrus, um, it's kind of like present, not, it's not spicy. There's not that sort of stuff in it, but it's just feels full. The gin that feels full, um, you're gin lovers. People that are watching this are gin lovers. You are not going to go wrong with that product. There's nothing in it. There's nothing offensive about it. There's nothing that makes you going to go, oh, my life. Um, I think it could take loads of different types of garnishes as well because of the, the different botanicals that are in there. You could accentuate the lime a bit more, as it says, with lime. You could put blackberries in it and go more fruity. Um, and then there's the elderflower. Yeah, very nice. So thank you so much, Ribble Valley Gin Company. It's very, very nice mouthfeel. A little bit of a slight vanilla each, ever so slight. It's that smoothness that you get around your mouth. Lovely. This mm. is on um, in February special offer to Sip and Share members. So thank you so much to Ribble Gin, um, Ribble Gin, <laughs> Ribble Valley Gin Company, in a tiny bit, um, for offering this to us. Uh, very enjoyable clear quality made product and it makes me excited about the rest of stuff in your range team so thank you so much for doing that and uh, yeah here's one last look at it one to remember i reckon 
and beautiful at that. All right, I'll leave it there, everybody. See you soon. Bye.